So in a general sense, I consider this herb to be really one of the best, if not the best herb for men to take. Meaning an overall hormonal tonic, an overall tonic to the sexual and urinary systems in the body. In a way that's safe and balanced, and in a way that typically will not push us one direction or the other, will not overstimulate us. Because many herbs that are, quote, for men or, quote, you know, good for male sexual health, you know, have a lot of side effects or down-regulate our functionings after a while or, you know, overstimulate us in some way or, you know, cause our heart to beat fast or dry us out or things of that nature. So what I'm, what I'm referring to is things that men take for boosting testosterone. So things like tribulus or maca or deer antler or tongue cat out lee or really the list goes on and on and on. These are very common, very popular products that people take to, quote, boost testosterone. But what's, what's the downside of those products usually is a, a handful of things. Number one, they don't work for everyone. 